everyone. I would love to talk today about, or a little about anyway, of our futures, the future of mankind and the future of our planet. And I know at the moment many of us think that we don't have a future. Many of us think that, you know, everything is coming to an end. But I'd have to say to you, no. Even though we're going through a hard time now, we have many incredible futures. And I have been shown many of them. And I have been shown some of the, the negative ones as well. But I have always been shown that with the negative ones, we actually get through them because we are evolving all of the time and there's enough of us as we move forward in evolution that are in a sense more evolved than others um, and the way I explain that is because the other side as one would say the dark side or or the wicked side, or, or the wrongdoings, or that of want of greed. That is the other side, and it's always, what would you say, stepping in the way from blocking us, from making the right decisions we need to make every single day, whether it is, you know, going out for a walk or not, you know, whether it is studying for an exam or whether it is making a business decision but making it correctly. We have many, many choices and we don't have to listen to the negative side. We don't have to listen to that side that tells us, you know, to be selfish or greedy because we need to let out for the future of humanity more love. We need to grow more spiritually. We need to be more conscious of our soul, more conscious that we are not just a human being, we're a spiritual being. We are that light that dwells within us. And not just within us, but how would I say, out there as well, that powerful light, our soul. And for humanity, we need that for the future to start to intertwine with our human selves. And that's one huge difference I'm seeing in mankind nowadays. We are trying to connect spiritually. We are in, in search of spirituality, of connecting to our soul, connecting to our guardian angel, even connecting to those that have died and gone ahead of us, you know, our loved ones, as we call them. But I do believe for mankind to move forward, we have to allow ourselves to see all the incredible futures I have been shown. They're there for us. And one of those incredible futures I was shown, and maybe in today's world, we cannot see that at the moment, but I believe it has tried to happen a couple of times but never succeeded. And I believe that's because humanly, the human part of us wasn't quite ready. And that's where I always say, you know, we become one nation. The whole world becomes one nation. And in that happening, even though we're, we're all different countries and all different nationalities, one thing I was shown was that that was 
only really on a global scale in the sense when there was something that really needed to be taken care of to help the whole of humanity and our planet, um, all countries work together. And one thing of that future was, how can I say it? Um, I just saw, you know, there was none of what you see today. There was no homeless, homelessness. There was no body, you know, being hungry. There was nobody being thirsty. There was nobody feeling unloved. You know, everyone was educated. But the thing in that future was that we had grown that bit more spiritually. We had allowed ourselves to become so conscious of that light, our soul and our guardian angel. And it was like we made that connection really, really strong. And we were looking and seeing differently. As I would say, in that future, you were seeing through the eyes of your soul, through that light and through your human eyes as well. You know, you were filled with wonder. There was so much for you to, to learn and to understand. There was so much, well, what would I say, that just kind of was blowing your mind, your human mind, that part of you. But it wasn't doing that to your soul, to that light. It was your soul was, in a sense, in conversation with you and telling you it has always been there. What you're seeing now, what you're feeling now, that wonder has always been there. We just didn't tap into it. But in that future as well as becoming one nation, every country, every culture kept its own, its own culture. And one other thing I loved was if there was ever any difficulty you know, um, with food or anything like that, or even with water or with literally anything. Every other country shared. And it was like as if, you know, it was no problem to share. And every other country shared on that global aspect, giving, and I would always say with a pure heart and expecting nothing in return but giving in a way that whatever country needed that help, there was no shortage. So that future showed as well, how can I say this, that there was no suffering, there was no anxiety, there was no nervousness, there was no fear. Um, and I believe in mankind, in humanity, I believe we can do it. So no matter how much the other side has or is even now today trying to block us, trying to get us to go in the wrong direction, to, to make the wrong decisions, I always feel and know and pray that we can turn you know, and suddenly make the right decision. And I know maybe that's hard for a lot of you to understand that. But even today, I still see the American Gathering Angels. I even see the, the angel of each nation. And again, that's a thing to remember that there is an angel of your nation, whatever part of the world you're in. And I know I have seen many negative futures, but the thing is I've seen a huge amount of incredible futures and they are more than the negative. And I know we're going through a negative one now, but 
what I would say to you, to humanity of the future, every negative future that comes along, it's to help us to turn in the right direction. It's in a sense, spiritually, to help us to wake up. And the thing is, how would I say this? God never gave us this negative future. We chose it ourselves by, in a sense, I suppose, not allowing ourselves to grow spiritually enough and ignoring that it's not all about material things. It's about the love you give to someone else. It's about caring and sharing. It's about being compassionate. And in this negative future that we're in, we have to remember there's loads of hope there. There is loads of light. There is loads of good things happening and lots and millions and millions of really good people helping those in need. But we all could help. We all could play our part. And sometimes your part is what I would say for the future for our humanity is a smile, you know, is reaching out, you know, your hand to help someone up off the ground. You know, it's so many simple things. And yes, we all think, oh, I'd have to do this enormous thing and that's too much for me. But it's not. You know, sometimes again, it's, you know, as I would say, signing a petition. Um, you know, being careful about when you vote for a government, speaking up in a job, you know, just being that person that believes in you and letting your light, your soul come forward to help humanity to change. And I always remember, you know, when I wrote Angels in My Hair first, any interview I was doing or, or a talk, um, I would all, and this is going back 12 years, I think now, I would always say to everyone, not to forget to stand up and play your part. And I see that happening all around the world now, more so than ever. We have the young, the young woman, Greta, as a child who stood up and got the whole world in a sense to follow her, but yet not the leaders of the world and yet not enough of, you know, the business people, the multinationalists, you know, the technical companies. But we all have to play our part. And at the moment we have a clashing of the futures. We've one very negative one, the virus, but then we have this other one, climate change. And we, as a people of the world, as one nation, all of us have to make the decisions to do the right thing for everyone, not just for ourselves personally, but for our planet. And again, I know we can do it. But yet I have to keep on pressing because I do know if we take our time, we will make life so hard for ourselves, so difficult. It would be frightening, very, very frightening. At the moment with what's happening now, we, we think, you know, this is frightening. But if we don't make the right decisions for climate change and work faster, each and every one of us, and allow ourselves to connect to nature spiritually and play our part in the biggest way we possibly can and ask our governments and everyone to do the same, we will only make the future a little bit harder for ourselves. Because one thing I have seen is this incredible future 
where we we do it like we save our planet and there's no words to describe it I could be searching for words but how could I say it everything is glowing literally everything we are all of nature is even the air is and the things that we achieve for mankind and for nature are in a sense at, at the moment unbelievable to us we can't even imagine them I know one I have told is where the children you know cross the river without a bridge that means adults cross the river without a bridge as well you know um, it's just so incredible and it's like we we can do it we can change we can grow spiritually we can let that light or soul come forward we can become one nation we can become a loving planet if you like a planet that progresses in a way that is unbelievable and incredible because we haven't done that yet in our lifetimes um, I just can't wait for that future to come but I believe we are on the way no matter how much darkness we see at the moment but what we have to do is do our best to push away the darkness push away the negativity push away the evil and say no I am only going to do the right thing the good thing I'm going to open my heart I'm going to allow myself to grow spiritual because I want humanity to have all the incredible futures I have seen none of them really have been written about as yet because even I myself cannot find the words even to describe the glowing the light even of this planet and it is us human beings that grow spiritually so much that intertwining happens that we make this world like a little glimpse of heaven and our planet shines brighter and of course God has given us so much more even outside our planet but it's not all ours that's one thing we'll have to remember but yes we will travel to other planets but the first thing we must do is grow spiritually that intertwining must happen and we must save planet earth and i know humanity can do it um just make yourself aware of your soul be more conscious and um, call on your guardian angel call on god and pray and every time you do something think of what effect will this have on others and what effect will it have on my beautiful planet on earth and I know you will always do the right thing one thing that God and the angels have, have always taught me and that is give with a pure heart and expect nothing in return so I better leave it there for now and say thank you and love you all. God bless.